Hey guys, it's Dawn Marie here and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Bing Ads and Max Bounty campaign. I've been using Bing Ads since 2018 and recently I've had some success with Bing Ads and Max Bounty affiliate offers so I thought I would do a walkthrough of how I set up my campaigns and how I how I actually set up my affiliate marketing campaigns using Bing ads. So perhaps you can take away some strategies from it and use it in your own affiliate marketing campaigns. Now, I don't often use Bing ads for affiliate marketing. I prefer Facebook ads, um, but recently Facebook has been a little bit um, difficult with affiliate marketers and I had some of my ad accounts shut down. So I had to have a contingency plan in place and that was to use Bing ads. So um, I thought that uh, given that I've had some success with Bing ads that I would share with you how I set up my affiliate marketing campaigns. Um, one thing to note is that Bing ads, um, in my opinion, it doesn't allow you to scale as much as you would like to compared to Facebook ads. Facebook ads scaling is absolutely awesome but with Bing ads, it's on a lower scale. If you use Google AdWords, then you should know how to use Bing ads. Google AdWords is um, a more popular marketplace because that's where most searchers go to. Bing ads is on a lower scale. So you would find that with some products, you may not get as many sales as you would with Google AdWords. But regardless, you are still able to have some type of success with Bing ads because it's still a marketplace. People still use Microsoft search engine to search for whatever products they are looking for. Um, and it's um, it's not as popular as Google Ads. So you would find that it's not very saturated. That's the reason why I prefer Bing Ads over, over Google AdWords. And Bing Ads just seem to be a little bit more lenient with affiliate marketers compared to Google AdWords. So if you are an affiliate marketer, and you are interested in learning how to make money with Max Bounty and Bing Ads, then this video is for you, so keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that we need to do is um, select our offers. So I'm here now on Max Bounty. If you do not have a Max Bounty account, um, you will see below this video, I've put a link to a blog post that shows you how to set up your Max Bounty account. Um, you will need to apply to join Max Bounty and also do a phone interview. So hopefully the tips in that blog post will help you be successful with your application with Max Bounty. You also need a Bing Ads account as well as um, in the the link below in the blog post, I have shown you how to create your Bing Ads Microsoft advertising account. So once you have done that, let's get started. I will start by logging in to Max Bounty. Okay, so once you have gotten into Max Bounty, how do you know which offer to select? As you can see, there are a number of offers that Max Bounty has. I believe they have over 2,000 offers. So it's going to be difficult for you to figure out which offer can work for you. But I recommend that you start with the, um, going to these tabs here, either the top campaign, the trending campaign, or Max Bounty Picks. Um, they contain offers that are being successfully promoted by other affiliates. So that's where you can start. I also recommend that you select offers that are more than $50 per lead. So let's see if we see any. So for example, there's the Nutrisystem, which is $195 per lead. Um, there's Keto Pure, which is $80 per lead. Tinnitus 911, that's $80 per lead. So anything that's more than $50, I would recommend that you just take a note of them and uh, you uh, use that to start, okay? Once you have decided which offer you would like, um, I would recommend that you, well, not recommend, you need to actually start with Bing Ads. So I'm just going to log into my Bing Ads account and you will come directly to your dashboard, which looks like this. And then you go to tools and then we go to keyword planner. So you will select an offer and then we are going to do a bit of research in the keyword planner tool um, to help us decide which of the offers we are going to run with.
Now the keyword planner tool is uh, um, Bing's own keyword tool that helps you see the volume of search, the volume of searches or traffic um, on the Bing platform for specific keywords that people are typing into the search engines. So once you've gotten to the Keyword Planner tool, just click on search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. And then we're just going to fill in a bit of data here. We're going to go back to Max Bounty and we're going to select one of these offers. So um, on the top campaigns, let's go to trending campaigns and see what it has. Right, there are a lot of keto offers um, that seems to be very popular with Bing. So I'm going to start with one of those. What I like to do is I just like to click into the offer to see what the terms are, whether it can you can actually promote these products on the search engine. So it tells me that search is all good here. So th there's no search restrictions. So I'm going to go with this one. This offer pays out $88 per lead. So the first thing that I would like to do is I would like to see the country. So this offer is only available in Canada and the United States. Hopefully I'm able to see um, what the landing page looks like. I'm currently in the UK, so I'm not sure whether I would be able to see what this offer looks like. Yes, I can see it, so that's good. So I'll just take a look around. Um, it looks like a very good sales page. To me, it looks highly convertible with the testimonials. Um, the, uh, the page looks clean. It's a beautiful page. So I'm going to go with this one. Um, what you can do is you can either search by website or you can search by the brand name or the product name. So in this case, I am going to use the Keyword Planner tool to see if anybody is searching for advanced enhanced keto, sorry. So I would just put the product name here. I'll put supplements because it is a supplement. And I will leave your landing page blank and your, cate your product category blank. Um, the targeting I will put as the United States since it's a product that can be promoted in the US or Canada. So I want to see how many people in the US are actually searching for this product. I will leave everything as is here. Um, the targeting should be English. It should be all search networks. Um, negative keywords, if you are just starting, this may be blank. So just leave that as is um, and show average monthly searches for the last 12 months. Um, and that's it. So I'm just going to get click on get suggestions. And then I'm going to click on keyword suggestions. Okay, so here is where we see the search volume. So we can see the trend of searches for this particular product, um, enhanced keto supplements. But don't look at this graph because this graph can be also a bit misleading. What you need to look at is the keywords and whether many people are searching for this product. So as you can see, average monthly searches is low. It's just about 10, which is not very good for me. But when you scroll down more, you can see that people are searching for keto supplement reviews, um, keto supplements, benefits of keto supplements. Um, the, I mean, the keto supplement keyword is over 2,410 um, searches. So that's really good. Um, even though you may have search volume under 100, it's still good. Ideally, I like to look for any search volume that is above 40, anything lower than 40, I tend not to target. Um, but you can get sales with a search volume that is above 40. So um, like keto vitamin supplements, keto meal supplements are keywords that I would target in my campaign. So here I am looking to see you know, what the search volume is for this particular product because the keyword is very broad, meaning that 
for example, keto supplements, even though it has over 2000 searches per month, it is still broad because it's not targeting a specific brand. And I prefer to target specific brands because then people know exactly what brand of product they want to buy. And it's more likely to, to generate a sale. If you were to just target a very broad keyword like this, keto supplements, people could be searching for any type of brand and you want to eliminate any clicks um, where they are not certain that it's the type of brand that they are looking for. When I say brand, I mean the actual name of the product. So even though it says advanced keto hair, advanced ketone formula, the actual brand name is enhanced keto. So if people search for enhanced keto supplements, then I know that it, they are searching for that particular brand. So let's see if we can find any other products that have that particular brand keyword that is being searched for. You can see enhanced keto supplements, the search volume is low, just about 10. And this is an average. So it doesn't mean that 10 people are actually searching for it. It could be more, it could be less. Um, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to look for another keto product. Okay, let's try this keto advanced weight loss and see. Again, search restrictions. You want to make sure that you are complying with the affiliate networks terms and conditions. So check the terms and conditions here to make sure that you can promote this product using the search engines. So it says here that search is all good. Um, the brand name is Keto Advanced Weight Loss. You can promote this in Canada and United States. Um, pays out $95 per lead. I'm just going to check the landing page. It looks like this brand name is Keto Rapid Diet, but let's just make sure. All right, this is um, Keto Advanced Weight Loss is Exogenous Ketones. Let's see if there's any search terms for Keto Advanced Weight Loss. So I go back to my Keyword Planner tool and I'm going to search for Keto Advanced Weight Loss Supplements. Okay, so again, um, search volume is low here, but let me look through below um, and see whether there is any sufficient terms. There's keto weight loss supplements, uh, keto advanced weight loss supplement review. So that's really good. It has 50 search volume. Right, there are a lot of, um, like here, keto advanced weight loss is zero. So this is telling me that this is not, even though they have a search volume, a good search volume for broad keywords like keto weight loss supplements, actually, no, not that one, for, let me see which one is it, for keto supplements, I'm still not happy because it, it's more like they, they know that keto supplements is the type of supplement that they want, but there are so many keto supplements on the market. I'm not saying that you can't get sales with it, you can. And in fact, I'm going to target this as a keyword. So I'm going to just make a note of this one. Um, but I would prefer a better, higher, highly convertible keyword. And that highly convertible keyword for me would be a brand name keyword, a branded keyword. Let's just select some other keywords. So 
let's go with keto weight loss supplement i'm just going to copy and paste this into my notepad here um let's go i don't like doing reviews even though sometimes reviews can get purchases i'm just going to put it still anyway because you never know it's all about testing so what I do here now is I select 10 keywords that have about 50 and up monthly searches. Let's do this one, keto supplements. I'm gonna take this one, even though this is um, low, but still a good keyword, so buy a keyword, so where buy keto advanced weight loss, because that means they're actually looking to buy the product. So I'm just gonna put that. Right, so you will see like best supplements keto diet, you will see that in the blog post that this is um, an awareness keyword. So people know that there are keto diet supplements, but they're actually looking for the best one. So it may not be the one that you are promoting. They probably have a favorite. So it's an awareness keyword. It can still can lead to sales, but it's not the best keyword. Um, let's see. Let's see, how much do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to Max Bounty and just find uh, um I'm going to look for a branded keto product that has an a lot a number of searches and I'm going to select this one, keto pure. Um this one is worldwide. There's no search restriction, so that's good. Um it's on search and you want to go also for those affiliate products which are pre-approved so you do not have to apply to your affiliate manager to get approved because sometimes when you do that you can be rejected um here it says no us or uk so it's worldwide so that's excellent um let's just see if i can see the landing page it says no us or uk okay i can still see the landing page which is good uh, keto pure diet that's good too so i saw here in the keyword planner tool that there was keto pure diet and it was over 200 monthly searches so that is a good product to promote because people are actually searching for the branded product keto pure diet so if they are searching for the actual name of the product it means that they are in a buying mode they know exactly what they want um and they are more than likely ready to buy. So what I'm also going to do here is I'm just going to go back up and I'm going to put in my search term, keto pure diet. And then Bing is going to just shoot me back some other keywords that are related to keto pure diet that I can include in my keyword selection. So Let's see, let's see. Right, so you see keywords like this, whereby keto peel is a keyword that I would want to target, even though it's um, has 10 searches. That's just an average, but that's a very good buyer keyword. Um, I'm also going to just add supplements to this, just to make it a bit more targeted. Right, so like this, where it says www purest keto, it means that people are looking for the website. So that's a good keyword to include so that when you target it and people put that keyword in the search engines, your 
Ida is likely to come up. Dr. Oz Keto Supplement is a good one too. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let me just get one more for good measure. If I can find one more. Right, I saw this one. This one supplements take keto diet. Okay, so I have 10 keywords. So these are the keywords that I'm going to be using in my Bing Ads campaign. So that is how I research different products on Max Bounty. So I would select about 10 different products that look interesting. And then I will come to the Keyword Planner tool to see how many people are searching for the actual product on Bing. And I select 10 keywords that have a good search volume. You will see that in the beginning, I recommended to have a search volume of 50 and above, but I did select some keywords that had a search volume of 50 and below. Use your best judgment and you decide which keywords you want to include in your campaign. At the end of the day, these keywords need to be tested. So even though I have selected these keywords, it does not mean that it will generate sales. They need to be tested. So now we have, now that we have our keywords, the next step is to, to set up tracking in your tracker. And you need, um, you will need a tracker for this. I recommend Click Magic. Click Magic is one of the best trackers that work well with, with Bing ads. And there is a link below this video that will take you to a 14 day free trial for Click Magic. If you are an affiliate marketer, you must have tracking. It's so important to help you prevent, to help you avoid wasting any money and to optimizing your campaigns. So I'm going to log in. Okay, if you do not know how to use Click Magic or you've never used it before, they do have tutorials. I'm not going to go through how to use Click Magic in this video. You can do that your own research on how to use Click Magic by using the tutorials provided by Click Magic. You will need to get a custom domain, so you would need to buy a domain from a company like Namecheap or GoDaddy, and Click Magic shows you exactly how to do that. Just go to the help section. They have a knowledge base, they have video tutorials, so I would recommend that you go through that. Once you have set up your custom domain and you are ready to track your affiliate marketing campaigns to get started with creating a tracking link to use in your Bing ads campaign, you go to create new link. And I'm just going to name this keto. I'm going to name this keto pure diet. And I'm just going to put the ID. So it's four, three, five, five. Okay, I'm going to select my tracking link. I'm just going to add a just a just something to identify. It doesn't have to be could be anything here. And the primary URL is where you are going to to add your um, affiliate link. So you go back to Max Bounty. 
and you would get your affiliate link here. All right, so you build your tracking link, you select search, then raw link, and this is the affiliate link that you want to select. Now, before you do that, actually, you need to add what is known as a post back URL to Max Bounty. So in order to create a post back URL, what a post back URL is, it is a code that is used between Max Bounty and Click Magic so they communicate with each other so that when a sale is generated, Max Bounty communicates with Click Magic and say, says that this is the keyword that generated the sale. So what that does is it helps you to eliminate other keywords that are not making you any money. So for example, you have 10 keywords here. Not all of these keywords are going to help you make sales. Maybe one or two of these keywords are going to help you make sales. So this is where optimization comes into play. Even though you're going to start with 10 keywords, you will more than likely eliminate eight or nine of these keywords that just do not work for you. Maybe one of these keywords are getting you the most sales. And with the tracking, th this is how you are able to know which of those keywords are getting you the most sales. If you didn't have that tracking, then it would be very difficult for you to identify which of the keywords are getting the most sales, and you will not be able to reduce your ad spend on these keywords. So the aim of having a tracking a, a, a tracking tool like Click Magic is to help you identify which of your campaigns are successful, which of your keywords are successful, so you can turn off any keyword that's not making you money and therefore reduce your ad spend. So in order to add the post back URL, what you need to do is, let's first of all, actually what I'm gonna do, I'm just, because I'm already here, I'm just going to copy this. And then um, that's my affiliate link and I'm going to put that affiliate link there. And I do not want the affiliate link to be cloaked. So I just say no, and I click on create link. Okay, so to create the post back URL, I would go to tools and then post back URLs and post back builder. It's just a simple copy and paste. So I would select the affiliate network, which is Max Bounty. Okay. And I would add my affiliate link here. So you said, if you want help adding that to your affiliate link, just enter your link below. So, in step one of the post back URL guide, you need to pass a unique sub ID to your Max Bounty affiliate link. And here's what to do to add that. So I'm just going to copy my, paste my affiliate link here. Let's copy this again. Paste my affiliate link there, click add it. So you will see that if you go to the end of your affiliate link, this sub ID, which is this has been added. You just need to backspace because it always puts a space there. So remember to backspace so you close that gap. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm just I'm going to add this to my notepad. So this is my affiliate link. And then this is the post back URL code that I'm going to copy here. And I'm just going to post it here in the Max Bounty pixel post back section. You can see it's already posted there you click on the drop down and just select URL, any campaign tracking type, and you paste it there. Okay, so you can see it's the same thing. Okay, once you've done that, you now need to take the, the tracking link with the sub ID added. This would also help Click Magic, sorry, Max Bounty, speak to Click Magic and identify the keyword that has generated any sales. So I'm going to copy this because remember before, all we did was just took this affiliate link without the sub ID attached to it. Now that Click Magic is telling us we need to add the sub ID for it to work properly, we have to go back and we have to correct 
the link that we just created. So I'm going to go back to links and I'm going to search for one, four, three, five, five. I'm going to search for the link that I just created, which is this one here. And I'm going to paste that there so you can see that the sub ID is now attached. Okay, just make sure that this is always on no. You do not want it on yes because then if you keep if you cloak your link, that can cause problems with the um, tracking your affiliate commissions properly. At least that's what I've heard from some affiliate managers. Um, so make sure that it is always on no. Okay, and then you click save changes. So what we have done here now is we have created a we have created a tracking link and this is the tracking link that we are going to use in our Bing Ads campaign. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to put it here. But there are some there are some keyword identifiers that you need to add at the end of this tracking link. And what that does is it tells Bing, or it, Bing communicates with Click Magic, which keyword is uh, um, generating clicks, which keyword is uh, generating sales. No, not so much about the sales, sorry. It's which keyword generates um, clicks and exactly what the user is searching for as well as the ad that they they clicked on that helped generate a sale so with bing ads speaking to click magic and max bounty speaking to click magic via these codes you will be able to determine the specific keyword that generated a sale the the search term that a user typed into the search engine to bring up your keyword, as well as the ad in Bing ads that generated the click to the offer. And those identifiers are, okay, this is what you need to add at the end of every tracking link that you use on Bing. So make sure that there's a forward slash and then the open curly bracket keyword closed curly bracket no space between the next identifier which is open bracket add id closed curly bracket forward slash open curly bracket query string closed curly bracket and by adding these identifiers at the end of your track your tracking link once you've put that into bing ads bing ads is going to communicate with click magic and tell them what search query the user typed in to generate that helped generate the sale what ad uh, which ad they clicked on to help get them to the affiliate offer and which of your keywords was targeted and which of the keywords produced the ad that generated the sale so all these things work together which is why it's important that you have Click Magic as a tracking tool because Max Bounty, when you set it up this way, Max Bounty, Bing Ads, and Click Magic will all work together to help you optimize your campaigns. Okay, so that is how we set up a tracking link. So this is the tracking link, the entire tracking link that we would copy and put into Bing Ads. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to spy on affiliates and see how they are promoting the Keto Pure diet product. So I'm going to go to Bing. And I'm just going to type in Keto Pure Diet Pills. Oh, by the way, if you are struggling for key, um, keywords to target, that's this is another way that you can get keywords. So if I typed in Keto Pure Diet Pills, so the name of the brand is Keto Pure, um, you will see there are is there are related searches. So you can type in, for example, you can target Keto Pure Slimming Pills. 
Keto Pure Weight Loss Pills, Keto Pure Diet Pills UK. That is if you are targeting the UK. Okay, another way to get keywords is from here in the drop down Keto Pure Diet Pills Reviews, Keto Pure Diet Pills Amazon, Keto Pure Diet Pills on eBay. But you want to be a little bit cautious about using these type of keywords where they're specifically typing to get the product on Amazon or on eBay or at Holland and, Holland and Barrett because they are already pre-framed to purchase the product on these sites. So if you were to target this specific keyword and your ad comes up and they click on it, it does not mean that they will purchase through your link. They may be looking to see what the price is and then compare it on eBay or Amazon and then make the decision where they want to buy from. Okay, so now that I have, I've typed in the keyword, I want to see what other um, affiliates are, what they have in their ads to help them generate traffic to their affiliate link. So <clears throat> this here is an ad. It's more than likely a, an affiliate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a note of how they have stated their ad. So this is the subject and then this is the body of the ad. So I'm just going to take this as an example. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put this in my notepad. And then I'm going to copy this as well. So anything that you see with an ad at the side of it means that it is an ad. So it's more than likely either the owner of the product or an affiliate. If it does not have ad at the side of it, it means that it's an organic search. So you don't want to be looking at these this organic search because if someone is paying for something, paying for an ad, it means that they are either profiting from it. Um, and if the ad is there for a long time, it means that they are making money from it. So you want to actually model after the type of uh, ads they are creating so you can do the same for you. You can see this one, it's standing out more because it has links at the bottom. So this is one of the features of Bing ads that you can add these additional links at the bottom to help your ad stand out more. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this one as well just to have an idea as to how I want my ads. Okay, so again, the only purpose of this is just to get an idea as to how other affiliates are framing their ads so I can have an idea to use for my own ads. Okay, so I think that's it and uh, I mean, I don't know whether these ads are working. So again, as an affiliate, you will need to test it. So that's all that I do in the competitive research stage. I just go onto Bing, type in a keyword, bring up the, any ads that are targeting that specific keyword and see what type, how people, how affiliates have written out their ads. If I were to type in, for example, diet supplements, we will see whether the same ads come up. Okay, well, this one, which is what we we um, saw in the previous the previous search that we did, I think we also saw this one, and we saw this one as well. So you can see it here. You know, lose twenty seven pounds or get your money back. So they are also targeting keto pure diet supplements as a keyword. Okay, so the next step now is to set up our campaign. So we have selected the offer. Um, we have our keywords that we are going to target. We have set up our tracking link, and now it's time to set up the campaign. So to set up a campaign, let's go back to Bing, and we're going to select campaigns. Click on campaigns again.
and then create campaign. Now, this is just an overview of how I set up my campaign. Once you go through this several times, it will become like clockwork to you. So don't worry if you feel overwhelmed at the moment. You just need to continue doing it over and over. Okay, so what's the goal of this campaign? I want people to visit my website. So I will click on visits to my website. The campaign name is what you would give the, the, the name of your campaign just for you to identify it, it's just solely for your reference. I typically like to start with a budget of 10 to 20 pounds per day. Um, you could start at how much you want per day. Um, okay, so where do you want your ads to appear? You want your ads to appear in the countries in which you can target. Now, here is something useful because Max Bounty is saying that you can target all these countries. There are so many countries you can target here. How do you know which one to put? Would you put all of them into Bing and target all of them? You can, but I don't recommend that you do it. So here is how I know which countries I want to target. I am going to take the actual website. I'm going to go to another website called SimilarWeb. Similar Web is uh, a website that helps give you website data. So it tells you how much traffic a certain website is getting, um, where people are, in which country they live in that's visiting this website, which traffic sources is delivering traffic to this website. Um, you also get search terms that people are searching for to get this website. Okay, so it looks like this website is not found on similar web, which is not good. Let me just check and see if I were to use their Chrome extension. Okay, so it seems as though it's available on their Chrome extension. So if I were to scroll down these are the top five countries that are visiting this website. Okay, so the UK is the has um, the most visitors, but we cannot target the UK as Max Bounty said. Max Bounty says no US or UK traffic. Okay, so we want to target other countries that is not the UK. So there's Canada, Netherlands, Australia, and Belgium. So that's where I would start. Because Belgium, they mostly speak French, I wouldn't want to target them. I'm going to start with Canada and Australia because they are English-speaking countries and because the page is in English. Okay, so that's how I find out which countries to target. If you do not have the similar web extension all you need to do is go to google chrome and just type in similar web and you will be able to install the extension there so going back to bing i'm going to click on let me choose specific locations then i'm going to select canada i click on target and also australia Okay, who should see your ads? You only want people in the targeted location. You do not want people searching for or viewing pages about your targeted location. These are people who do not live in Canada or Australia, and they are searching for information about Canada or Australia. So they may be, for example, in the US, and you don't want to show your ads to people in the US. So you only want people in your targeted location. So I'm going to untick that box. And I only want the ads to appear to persons who speak English. Then I'm going to save and go to the next step. Okay, in the ad groups and keywords section, so Bing Ads is broken down into campaigns, ad groups or keywords where you add your keywords and then the actual ad. So this is where you would create the ad. Okay, so you enter your website and the only reason why Bing wants you to enter your website here is so that it can help you with keywords. The website is going to be the actual 
site for the affiliate product, not your tracking link. So it's the site for the, the URL for the affiliate product. So as I mentioned before, it's not necessary to put your website here right now. So let's give the ad group a name. So I'm going to name this ad group um, keywords. Um, I'm going to put actually owned and operated and you will see why later on I'm putting owned and operated there. And then I'm going to type in my keywords here. Now, because these keywords are, some of them are um, awareness keywords and some are branded keywords. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it. Now, keywords with Bing, you are able to, you are able to tell Bing whether you want your ad to show when someone enters keto supplements, or maybe someone may type in just keto and your ad appears, or they may enter keto supplements just as it is. So it's not supplements keto, but keto supplements. Um, and that's called exact match. So there are three ways that you can enter a keyword to help Bing help you get people to find your ad. You can either do a broad match and broad match is where you tell Bing that if anybody were to enter keto, these words, keto, weight, loss, or supplement, that your ad will appear, but it would make sense to the user um, that your ad appears. So just because they may enter weight, it does not mean that your ad would appear because weight could mean you know, how heavy something is and not necessarily for weight loss. So it's going to make sense to the user for your ad to appear in depending on the context that the search term is in, okay? So it can either be a broad match where if someone enters keto, weight, loss, or supplements, those words, and it makes sense to Bing that they are actually searching for this um, for information on keto weight loss supplements that your ad is going to appear, which is broad match. You can also tell Bing to have your ad appear if someone were to enter a phrase match. So a phrase match would be they enter keto weight loss and supplements, all those words, but it doesn't matter the order of appearance. So for example, instead of saying, instead of typing in keto weight loss supplements, they may enter keto loss supplements, weight, or weight loss keto supplements, or weight loss supplements keto. Regardless of the order of the words, your ad would still appear. That's phrase match. Or the final match is you can tell Bing to show your ad on exact match. An exact match is where they enter keto weight loss supplements in that exact order. So any other order, your ad, your ad will not appear. So for the purposes of this um, tutorial, I'm going to recommend that you leave it on broad match so you can see what people are searching for um, to help you identify other additional keywords that are leading to sales with the exception of keto pure diet and this one here, purest keto, because they are looking specifically for um, the keto pure diet product. So I'll show you how to tell Bing to make this match phrase match instead of broad match. So broad match, you just leave it as it is just how I'll put it here. And for this one, we are going to tell Bing that we want, so we're just gonna put it in inverted commas like that. I think that's an, or quotation marks, keto pure diet. So that this is a phrase match. So we tell Bing that we only want our ads to show when all the words appear in the search and all the words appear in the search and it doesn't matter the order in which it appears. Okay, and for this one too, so we want the same thing. So we're just gonna do that. Okay, as you get to know Bing better, you will understand 
the difference between broad match, phrase match, and uh, exact match. So it's something that you should have in the back of your mind to learn. Okay, so that's owned and operated. And I'm going to add another ad group. And that ad group is going to be syndicated. And again, later on in the tutorial, you will see why I'm naming these ad groups owned and operated and syndicated. Again, this is just to help you identify respective ad groups. So it's only there for your, for your reference. Okay, so that's that. And I'm now going to click on save and go to the next step. So that is the keywords that Bing will be targeting. The next step is to create our ad. So as you can see, we now have two ad groups and we are creating ads for each ad group. So let's click on create ad. And this is where we're going to go back to our competitor research to see how they wrote their ad. So we're going to take a little bit of what they wrote and uh, just model after it. Okay, so the final URL is going to be not your tracking link, but the actual URL of the offer. So it's going to be key to pure diet. Okay, and the title part one is the subject. So that's going to be this here. So let's, I usually like to put, so we want to make it so that it's clickable. So a lot of people will click on it. So I'm going to put Keto to Pure Diet official site. The second part, um, let's see if we can get some help from the actual website. So maybe we can say, voted number one keto product in the US. Right, we want something that's likely going to get a lot of clicks to it. So it has to be attractive to the user. So let's put melt fat fast. And title three, I'm going to put voted number one in the US. Okay, so I'm just going to add perhaps maybe order. So at least when people see it, they know that they're going directly to order. So we only want people who are ready to order. So that's, that is the, um, the mindset behind it, you know, the thought process. If I put order here, then people, you know, they're ready to place an order. And then for the ad text, I'm just going to take what some people have put here. Right. So lose 27 pounds or get money back guarantee results. Instead of the lose 27 pounds, I'm just going to put get money back guaranteed. All natural ingredients. Um, let's see what else I can put. Let's see. I'm going to put burn fat for energy. Oops. So you can see that it's exceeded by five characters. So I need to make sure that I'm under the character limit. So I'm going to say, get money back guaranteed, all natural ingredients, place secure order now. Okay, that's it. Place secure order now. Um, let me see. I'm also going to put something that's attractive to help. Okay, so let's say maybe satisfaction 100% guaranteed. One hundred percent natural ingredients. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, so you think about you know 
if you are searching for something, what actually makes you click? So when you're writing these ads, think about what you think is going to make a user click. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the URL from the final URL and put it as a mobile URL. I'm going to click on save and create another. Now this is where split testing comes in. You want to be testing different variations of the ad to see what's going to generate the most clicks. Because if people are not clicking on your ads, then they're not seeing your affiliate offer. So um, so it says official site. I'm going to put here order from order direct now, okay? Go to number one in the US, get money back guaranteed. I'm just going to switch this up and put satisfaction 100% guaranteed. Then I'm going to take this one out. 100% natural ingredients. Okay. And then I'm going to create another one. So I'm going to put here instead 100% money back guarantee. And this is just to see whether this, you know, how the ad is phrased, whether it's going to get the most clicks. And that's it. So create at least three ads and just do different variations of the text in the ads. And then I'm going to click save. So you will see that all the ads have been created for the first ad group, which is owned and operated. And then we want to copy these ads into the second ad group, which is syndicated. So I'm going to click on copy ad and copy to all other ad groups. Okay, the next thing, you can add ad extensions if you want to. Again, ad extensions is just to help your ad stand out more. So um, like here, this is an extension that you can add to help your ads stand out more to someone who's searching in the search engines. But I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video. So I'm going to leave all of that. Then I'm going to click on save and go to the next step. And the next step is where we're going to place our budget and bid. Again, individual budget, I leave at 10 pounds per day. Here for the bid strategy, I'm going to use use the bid I set. And then for the ad group bid, I'm going to start mine at 50, 50 pence. It's usually going to tell me whether that's sufficient to generate any clicks. So as you can see, it says it's not sufficient. Now, even though you have put the bid at 50 pence or 50 cents, Per click, it doesn't mean that that's how much you are going to spend. Sometimes you may not even spend £10 or $10 per day because there isn't sufficient clicks to get you $10 per day. But if there is sufficient clicks to get you up to $10 spent per day, then Bing will spend that. Um, you can put up to $1 or £1 um, for per click. But then again, it, it does not mean that you are going to spend one pound per click because it may be lower than that. This is just help telling Bing how the maximum amount you are willing to pay for a bid. So it may fall slightly lower than that. For example, 89 pence, 79 pence, 50 pence. I'm going to put leave it at one pound regardless of what this says. The estimated monthly clicks is 49. I just want to see, start getting clicks to my ad so that I can see what's working and what's not. Okay, and for the advanced campaign settings, I'm going to leave this as is, but I'm going to come back to it and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do later on. And then I click save. And that's it. So my campaign has been created. Just a few more things that I need to do to get to prepare this campaign. So the campaign then goes into um, to review by Bing. Okay, it's not coming up. All right, so this one. So what I'm gonna do next is, uh, this would go into review. So I'm going to quickly go to the ad section. I'm going to go to the ad section and I'm going to edit my ads because you will remember that we only put the direct URL. We didn't put our tracking link.
And this is most important because it's going to help us track and also for people to click on our affiliate links. So go back into the ad to edit it and where it says add URL options, click on there. And this is where you're going to enter your tracking link. So go back to our notes section and I'm going to take the entire link that I have created with the keyword, the ad ID and the query string identifiers. And I'm going to, I'm not sure if I copied that. So I'm going to highlight and copy, and then I'm going to put that here. And you want to make sure that this goes to the, that Bing um, can actually track this and it goes directly to the Keto website. So to do that, to make sure that Bing is on the same page, just click on test and it should say, it should say green. If it doesn't say green, it says a final URL mismatch. What you want to do is you want to test your tracking link. So just simply copy and paste the tracking link into another browser. Now I am in the UK and this, my tracking link will not accept UK traffic. So for you, what I would recommend is that you copy and paste it and make sure that it goes to the offer. But I'm going to leave it just as it is for now. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to do that for every ad that I just created. Okay, so I've now done that for every ad I've just created. And then one final thing that I need to do. Now I named these ad groups owned and operated and syndicated. That is because there are two platforms within Bing where they advertise your ads, where they place your ads. They place it on Bing's owned and operated ad platforms as well as syndicated platforms, which um, I believe is uh, traffic that comes from DuckDuckGo, um, Ask Jeeves, those type of, of um, other, other search engines. So we want to test and see which one is giving us the best results. This is why I've separated it into owned and operated and syndicated. Now to change the ad platforms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on owned and operated because that is how I named it to identify it. And then I'm going to go to add a distribution, search network. So click on search network. And here where it says add distribution, I'm going to change this to owned and operated. Okay. So Bing, it, so your ad will, will be placed on Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search. Okay, so this option includes native ads in Bing and only applies to websites in certain locations. So your ad will be placed on Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search. So let's save that. And then I would do the same for syndicated. So I click on syndicated. Go back up, add distribution. Okay, come down, click on add distribution here, and then leave this uh, here. Click on here, Bing, AOL, Yahoo, syndicated search partners only, and click on save. So now that each of the respective ad groups have been designated to particular ad platforms, we can see which of those ad platforms are giving us better sales. So it may be that owned and operated are giving us all the sales. If that is the case, then we switch off um, syndicated and to switch off a campaign, all you do is, you know, you just go to syndicated, click on it and click on status and you click on paused and that's it. So that's pretty much how I set up my campaigns, guys. Um, I mean, there's a lot more to Bing and understanding it really and how to optimize your campaigns um, and how to, you know, how to look to see what type of results you get, how to tweak your campaigns so you get the best return on your investment. There is so much more that you need to learn when it comes to Bing ads and, um, 
I will prepare another tutorial. It may be a paid tutorial because there's just so much more that you need to learn. Um, but in the meantime, at least you know now how to set up an ad campaign. And then you just wait for clicks. You wait for Bing to approve it. More than likely, it's it was enabled here. If Bing has any problems with it, they would you know, mark it as disapproved or they will tell you that it's not running and then they will give you reasons as to why it's not running. So that's it, guys. Um, again, if you want to get to the blog post that shows you how to set up your Microsoft campaigns and Max Bounty um, affiliate accounts, click on the link below this video to get to the blog post. And also I have an affiliate marketing course. It's a free course. If you don't know much about affiliate marketing and you would like to know more about it, then there's a link below this video that will help you get to that free course. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Bye-bye.